So well, minimum wage in Tennessee is set at $7.25. It's the same as the federal minimum wage. However, some Tennesseans could be getting paid less. Businesses in our state that apply for a certain waiver are actually allowed to pay people with disabilities below minimum wage. WAT6 Senior Side Reporter Kristen Gallant explains now how a bill that's moving its way through the Tennessee General Assembly would remove this waiver exception. Eyes 27, three nays. The Constitution majority, I declare it passed without objection. The bill is making its way through the state capitol. People with disabilities make 72 cents on the dollar. They are impoverished at a rate twice that of other Tennesseans. They're employed at a rate half that of other uh, of other Tennesseans. And if we really believe that you know everybody can succeed in this state. We have to give people the tools and the opportunity to succeed. Jeff Strands with the Tennessee Disability Coalition says this motion is a huge step in making sure those with disabilities receive equal pay opportunities. What this bill would do is say that no Tennessee entity is eligible to apply for a 14C waiver. You know, I think it's outdated. And at this point, the way that we understand disability, the way that we've evolved as a society to help include folks with disabilities, it's it, it's the wrong thing to do for today for today's time. Strand is a former special education teacher who now works with Tennessee legislators, monitoring and pushing for bills that benefit Tennesseans with disabilities. From what I saw, there there were a lot of structural barriers in their way that you know. Um, made it really difficult for them to achieve the kind of success that they wanted to achieve. This bill sponsored by Senator Jeff Yarbrough will help remove one of those barriers. When disabled workers show up and do an honest day's work, they should get an honest day's pay. Senator Becky Duncan Massey of Knoxville is co-sponsoring the bill. The folks that were able to go out in the community and work and get that, that real paycheck were uh, so proud of themselves and, and what they were able to accomplish. So. Uh, I think it's great that we're making it final. Strand says this is a bill that is long overdue. The moral case for this is just as compelling as the practical case. In Knoxville, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. Now, according to the bill summary, there are two businesses that have been issued certificates that would allow them to pay those with disabilities less than minimum wage. The House still has to vote on the bill before it makes its way to the governor's desk and becomes law.